You look at the market reaction to the prospect of a Marine Le Pen, and at this point, we're certainly not pricing in Euro disintegration, but do you think a lot of people are getting a little bit too panicky about, one, the prospect of her coming to power, and two, the impact that it could have? Well, I think we should begin by talking about the fact that the history of the last, you know, 20 years of French leadership has left a lot to be desired. Uh, and I think that uh, more than likely the markets are overreacting on a short-term basis. I mean, obviously there have been people who thought that the day after Trump got elected, they were going to turn the lights out. And somehow other the lights didn't get turned out. Well, maybe for three hours. It got turned out a little bit. Hours. Yeah, and then okay. it was okay. Uh, I think that it's very likely. I don't know whether Le Pen could win, but I think the Le Pen who might get elected today is a very different Le Pen than, say, 10 years ago. And uh, although I, I, I have a lot of doubt about France getting out of the Euro, uh, I think that uh, she is likely to be uh, less free to pursue uh, extreme results or extreme objectives than, you know, than the market would suggest. Okay, so the market's overreacting. Does that mean that you buy in Europe? I'm not a big fan of Europe, period. Uh, Even though the data's been better and you think the market's overreacting to a Le Pen victory? Yeah, but I just think that, uh, uh, I mean, we have no investments in Europe to speak of. Uh, we've basically avoided Europe because, I mean, my favorite line is, it's great for castles, it's great for wine, it's great for cheese. Uh, it's not good for business. <laughs> no offended at all, Sam. Not at all. Sam, are we overreacting to... <laughs> Am I being too subtle? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, to plug a book here. Uh, are we overreacting to what we would call the top of the ticket? Whether it is Marine Le Pen, whether it's Wilders in, in the Netherlands, whether it's Angela Merkel, and for that matter, Trump here, because there are other institutions, there are parliaments, there are congresses, there are courts and things like that, that can really limit the extremes. Well, I think that that's nothing new. I think that's been the case since the beginning of time. Uh, I'm, I'm less concerned about the extreme as you're referring to, uh, but that doesn't necessarily make news. So uh, we see uh, the news re you know, taking the extreme positions. And remember, even in the case of the data you put up there a minute ago, that always represents the the, the, you know, it's like the price of a stock is always the last moment's bid and ask. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't necessarily mean any kind of a significant trend. 